Hey guys, Casey here with Olive Branch Aquaponics. I am going to show you our quail run. What we do in here is we grow our squash um, and our cucumbers to where the squash bugs don't come after our stuff because we have quail that we run in here and the quail keep all the, the bad bugs away from our crop. So what we've done is we've built these hoop houses all the way down and then we put bird netting around it so that the quail can't get out and the hawks can't get in to get them. Um, this quail run can house up to 500 quail. In between our rows we have plenty of room for us to get in there with our tiller and till up the ground to make sure that we don't have weeds growing in there. Uh, our quail will sit their own eggs under there which is Kind of rare for quail they don't really like to sit on their own eggs and brood especially don't brood their babies what we're doing right now is jumbo corn ticks quail at eight weeks after they hatch they start to lay eggs again uh, which is pretty young so we can produce a lot of quail in a short amount of time quail is good protein it's good for you um, they're really easy to raise. Farm they the fruit. Need. They don't want the fruit unless there's nothing else to eat. So us keeping that high protein feed out all the time kind of helps them to not want to eat our squash. Chickens, ducks, geese, peacocks, um, they will all eat your fruits. <laughs> and most of them will actually eat the whole plant. So you don't really want to run any of them on there. But quail seem to leave everything alone. Okay, I'm back. I brought uh, a male and a female quail. I'm going to kind of show you what they look like and how to tell the difference. Kind of a little extra thing. But, uh, so these are jumbo corn ticks quail. Um, the way that you can tell the difference between an adult quail, uh, male and female, is this is a female here and this is a male. So you can see that the male has uh, no spots on his breast. And then the female, obviously, has a lot of spots. 